Yo, what's up, guys? Keeping it chill here, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. Last time we took on the Ghostly Galaxy and had a bunch of fun, saved Luigi, and got rid of everything else. Today, we're going to be going to this galaxy, which is the Bubble Breeze Galaxy. It looks like we only have one galaxy to take care of, so we might, might be, this might, this may or may not be a short video, but who knows. Regardless, we are going to be taking care of this galaxy through the poison swamp. Here we go. What's up? Well, apparently a sign's talking to me. Okay. Before you ride the bubbles, let's truly let's test let's let's yours truly fill board. Behind bind bend your ear for a sec. You can move around the bubble by holding down A, but do it while you that is to pulling out the bubble. By the way, if you're playing on, on handheld mode, which is the game pad, which is kind of weird. Um, don't forget you can blow air by tapping. If you go too too far to one side, use that use that to blow to the other side. Okay. I'll probably forget that anyway. Okay. That's cool. That looks kind of cool. Oh god. This is actually cool. I can, I can imagine like using this with a mic. Like how that works. because I didn't want to like die on a over and over and that. Wait, let's wait. Hey, okay. Cool. We're doing, doing good. I know. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's hit this and see. I, I thought I had to do something. Alright. <coughs> oh, I saw I saw something over here that I actually didn't have to see. Okay, I, I don't care about that. 
I don't care about that. Crap, 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 crap. I don't care about the life. If it means to risk my life for it, or risk Gamora's life for that, then I don't care about it. Yeah, let's wait, let's wait. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. There it is. Nice. All right. Sorry, I was a little quiet for that. I, 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 do, I really didn't want to die uh, from that area, so I had to really concentrate for that for a little bit. Yeah. All right. Cool. Galaxy Fleet. Now I would end it, but. First off, I'm going to I'm going to do another galaxy, which probably only one. We'll do this one. We'll do we'll do this one uh, next time. The buoy based galaxy. So we'll do this we'll do this galaxy, and then we'll check out the storybook or whatever, and I'm end it. All right, let's go. The floating fortress. I, remember, I do remember playing this level. I do remember this. I think you have to go under this area, because I think there's something... I think you have to get the bull bills to destroy this. Yeah, you have to, you have to get the bull bills to destroy this. Yeah, so please don't follow you. So, yeah, it kind of like sucks. Pause. The the kind of sucks the water. I guess. <laughs> um, let's go up and get some air at least. But it kind of drains all the water out, and we have to basically uh, destroy all this so that the pipes can drain all the water out.
Got him. Okay. Electrify Mario over here. <laughs> Mario can't stop getting electrocuted. That'll be cool. Got Mario, 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 calm down. I knew I was gonna get like fight for that crap. Alright. Alright, fine, fine. We got a lot we got a lot of lives, so. And it starts up from here, so that's it at least. Okay, let's actually go around and see, because I'm actually I actually don't know what to do. And I got electrocuted, nice. And I get electrocuted again, nice. Okay. You can't let you do this time. Oh my god, dude, I'm about to die again. Okay, what am I supposed am I supposed to like 
There's something where I'm supposed to go. Oh god. Oh, I just have to do that. Okay. I was wondering, I was like, what do I have to do? Okay, I repeat. okay. Alright, nice. I was kind of confused. I was like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> but that's the end of you. Gotcha. Ooh. Yeah. Um, alright. I think I think that's everything for now. Alright, let's uh let's end it by Giving Rosalina a story. When they being us a story. Yeah, here we go. Yo, it's story time, y'all. Let us begin. Yes, sir. Let's go. <clears throat> Stardust. Chapter two. <laughs> Days pass, there's no sight in the common, or even a single planet. Instead, asteroids extended for as far as they could see. As I could see. <laughs> That's how you know, you should stay in school. <laughs> even I'm still in high school, I can't read. <laughs> if I had known it was going to take this long, I would have packed more jam, said the little girl above the rumble of her belly. Before they left, she had packed all the essentials. Telescope, butterfly net, stuffed bunny, bread, milk jam, and apricot, apricot flavored tea, but I forgot to bring water. At this, at, at this, Luma burst into gales of laughter, and the girl began to pout. As long as I have starfits, I'll be fine, said Luma. Want some? The girl could say mad after hearing this. Luma continued to laugh, and the, and the girl couldn't help but join in. All right, maybe just a nibble. <laughs> Leaning far out into space, the pair began to collect star bits with the girls' nets. They almost fell out a few times, but they kept on collecting. The star bits taste like honey. Chapter three, the comet. A beam of light pierced through the window, sh through the ship's window, thinking it was the morning sun. The girl peered through the window, only to find it took. Orquist, blue comet shimmering at her. The little girl shook the sleep the sleeping Luma awake and shot ex 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 excitingly. We have to get that comet. The pair descended to the comet and found that it was made of ice. They looked high and low, but Luma's mother was nowhere to be found. Exhausted, the little girl sat down on a flop, utterly unable to take another step. Look. Peering down at the icy ground where Luma was pointing, the girl suddenly noticed cluster of star bits encased in ice. Pretty good, huh? Finding star bits in my specialty, said Luma beaming. There's ice here, but it's so warm. I, I'll bet there's water here too. The two decided to stay on the comet for a while. Riding the Torquist comet, the pair continued to search for L Luma's mother. Chapter 4 The Dream. One night, the girl dreamed about her mother. Where are you going, she asked. Her mother's retreating, retreating back. Without turning, her mother replied, Don't fret, dearest. I'm not going anywhere. I'm always watching over you like the sun in the day and the moon in the night. The wave of sadness washed over the girl. What about when it rains and I can't see the sun or moon? Her mother thought for a moment before responding. I'll turn to the star in the clouds and wait for you for your tears to dry. When she awoke, the girl's face was damp with tears. You, you have star bits in your eyes, said Luma, said Luma to the girl. Wiping her face, the girl replied, "These are tears, not not star bits. I'm crying because I'll never see my I'll never I'll never see my mother ever again." At this, Luma began to cry too. "Mama, oh, Mama, why?" Ah. The pair traveled through the starry skies and through the encounters many other comets. Not one of them held Luma's mother. 
Luma was despondent. Now, now, Luma. The rain clouds won't go away if you keep crying, the girl said, giving Luma a squeeze. I'll give you a present if you stop. The girl closed her eyes and said gently, I'll take care of you. With these words, she felt a small spark in her heart. That should do it for today. All right. Kind of more story on her, on kind of more story on Lumas or on Rosalie and Lumas. So that was pretty cool. All right, guys. So I'm gonna right here. I'm gonna end it right here. That was Super Mario Galaxy. We got, we got a lot of stuff done. Next time, I think we have a boss to deal with, so that should be cool. If you guys like this, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.